Speaking of evacuations, have started in Region 2, and the first evacuations may follow if needed. Nearly 9,000 families, or over 30,000 individuals, have been evacuated to over 200 centers. The PMB is also on hike and alert at 3,500 additional personnel ready to assist. PMB spokesperson, Police Brigadier General Jin Fahad, assured cops are not experiencing fatigue and emphasize the importance of ensuring the welfare of officers and their families. Hindi tayo pwedeng matagot, sir. Eh. Kausap ko nga si General Maralag, pang-aning wala na bagyo yun. Na kahit kung nagmula lang siya ay uh, ma-designate as a RD. At sabi naman niya, okay pa yung mga tropa. So this is uh, Radio Pilipinas. This is the Philippines broadcasting with some English. 17820 kilohertz. Now this isn't received on this radio. It is actually received on the Kiwi SDR in Nepal. To communities affected by recent typhoons in northern Luzon. According to Philippine News Agency's report, PAF spokesperson Colonel Maria Consuelo Castillo said their tactical operations wing in northern Luzon, a tactical operations group, and lifted boxes of relief supplies from the Department of Social Welfare and Development to remote areas in Isabela and Cagayan provinces on November 12 and 13. Additionally, a C-130 cargo plane completed several cargoes to transport relief packs to Basco and Batanes. Meanwhile, the Philippine Coast Guard has activated its deployed response groups to prepare for the expected impact of Typhoon Tepito in the Bicol region. According to the Coast Guard District Bicol, this proactive measure strengthens community safety by ensuring rapid response readiness. On the other hand, the Bicol region, Camarini Sur and Elbaan... So I'm using a Kiwi SDR that is in Nepal, and I've tuned 17820 kHz for 02 uh, UTC. They have a 30-minute English broadcast from Radio Pilipinas from the Philippines, and I send it through Bluetooth to the Shuiyuan R1. Kind of cool. So, Radio Filipinas English. We have Bluetooth on a Kiwi SDR in Nepal. No longer make use of his rice crops. They were damaged by the strong winds brought by Typhoon Christine recently. So to help Marvin and other farmers and fisher folk affected by the calamity, President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. brought over 46 million pesos worth of financial assistance to the people of Oriental Mindoro. Almost 5,000 farmers and fisher folk affected by Typhoon Christine and Leon received financial assistance from the office of the president worth 10,000 pesos each. 